Let's say you have a single image of a character, but you want to create multiple illustrations of it in different poses and environments while keeping the style and the look of the character the same. That's possible now with the latest AI tools. And in this tutorial, I'll show you the best workflow. All you need is just a single image of your character and you'll end up with an entire story's worth of illustrations. Most consistent character guides only show how to do this for photorealistic people or really, really simple looking characters. But in this guide, we'll learn how to create consistent characters for exciting and lifelike illustrations, which have been super hard to do until now. A Sith's life, my life, is one of indulgence, power, and making an unforgettable impression. From the moment I embraced the dark side, I learned one thing. I'll show the rest of that animation at the end. The first step to getting out consistent character is just any 2D illustration you have. I'll start with this female Star Wars inspired character. I made her in Mid Journey, but you can get them from anywhere. And afterwards, I'll also show an example of this Christmas Grinch cartoon. The method I'm showing works really well for non-human characters. And you'll want a plain background if possible. In step 2, we need to turn a single illustration of our character into a complete character sheet with different poses. Now, you could try to use an AI image generator to expand the original illustration to get more character poses, but it's super hard to keep the consistency of the original image. The hairstyle and colors change, plus it's difficult to get the exact poses you want. And it's even harder to maintain a consistent visual appearance. This is especially true if you're working with non-human characters, all the little details start to change, like the clothing or patterns in the fur. So instead, I'm actually going to use an AI video generator to create some different movements and then extract the character sheet from those videos. For this task, I'll be using Hyloa's Minimax video generator. They recently released an update, which makes it the best for 2D animations in my opinion. I'll put all the links in the description. So let's go to the video creation tab and in the image to video interface, I'll drag in my female character. Then in the prompt, we just want some simple motions to turn our character a little bit and see them from different angles. A prompt like she turns and walks to the side will work perfectly. And make sure you're using the ITV01 live model before generating the video to get the newest model. Then we'll generate the video. Some movement gets added to our character, but the consistency is preserved super well in terms of the clothing and physical appearance. I generated a couple different videos with different poses I can add to my character sheet. Just simple things like hand gestures and body motions. When you've got the videos generated, download them to your device. The next step is to extract the images to create our character sheet. To do this, I'm using the Psycode Easy GIF, where you can extract image frames from videos. In the Video to GIF page, go to Video to PNG. And I'll upload one of the AI generated pose videos here. Then to extract the image frames, look through these poses and find the one that looks the most consistent. Some of them will be a bit blurry, will have some slight deformations, but you'll find a couple of them that look pretty clean. Here I've got a folder with all the saved poses. I've also cropped out some of the images to get headshots. This isn't necessary, but if you want to be able to generate close up shots of your character later on, you'll want to include some shots like these. Alright, so we're all set with our character sheet. Now it's time to go and train an AI model to specifically generate images of our character. To get a custom model for our character, I'm using OpenArt. It's an AI image creation platform. Go down to the Models tab and inside select Train Your Own Model. We'll be training a character model and give it any name like Female Villain. And describe it briefly, this part doesn't need to be detailed. I just put down illustration of a female character with light blue skin. The AI should learn to keep the clothing the same from my images. And then let's upload our character photos. You can put up to 100 images here. There's no need for that. I only use 7 to 10 images for most cases and it works perfectly fine. Then we can train the model which finishes pretty quickly, usually in less than 10 minutes. By the way, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more guides like this in the future. I've already got a couple of models trained here from before though, so let's just create images of our characters with them. We can change the prompt and settings on the left here. Most of it we'll just leave the same. Then in the prompt, we'll describe our character again. She's got blue skin and wearing a red leather jacket and black pants. We'll have her sitting on a rock in a light green grassy field. And I'll add some robots in the background. Let's also change the aspect ratio. so. I want a wide image, so we'll turn up the width of the image here. And I'll also create three different samples I can pick from. Let's see what it comes up with. 
There's a pretty good variety of different poses, and our character looks great in them. You can download the picture or scroll down a bit, and there are some options to upscale the image or create more variations. By the way, when you're prompting, you do need to describe the clothing in some cases. On the left, I did not specifically ask for a red jacket, and the AI actually generates our character wearing all black. It's a cool fit, but I do want that red jacket. So on the right, I added red leather jacket to the prompt. It does like to generate similar poses as your training images. You'll see some of these with her striking a similar pose with her hips. But it's super flexible at generating new poses as long as you prompt for them, like sitting down or pointing her finger. When you're done with those images, you can also turn them into AI videos using the exact same process that I showed earlier. So back inside Hylua, I'll upload this one of her on a motorcycle. And in the prompt I'll put down, she turns and rides a motorcycle fast. These prompts do take a little bit of experimentation. I'll put a link in the description with a guide for how to prompt in Hylua. Now let's take a look at the completed animation for our character. A Sith's life, my life, is one of indulgence, power, and making an unforgettable impression. From the moment I embraced the dark side, I learned one thing. If you're going to conquer the galaxy, you'd better look good doing it. The Jedi love their stoic nonsense, but I prefer a more theatrical approach. Red lips, black leather, and a lightsaber as crimson as blood. A girl's gotta make an impression, right? For the Grinch cartoon, I followed the exact same process. Starting with generating some AI videos with basic movements, the consistency in the appearance here is really impressive. Then I saved a set of character images as references. Just some basic poses are good enough. And finally, I trained an AI image model, just like with a female character. It's a totally different art style, and it's a non-human character. But this method still works perfectly fine, and we get some really amazing looking illustrations that completely resemble our original character. If you want a deeper dive into how to use open art to create your own consistent characters, completely using AI, go watch this guide right here.